Okay, folks, uh, what are we doing today? Long story short, uh, I ordered two of these. They're the Link Q uh, replacement parts. This is what uh, allows you to clamp your seats, uh, your back, I'm sorry, your backrests, your, uh, all your Link Q accessories that go onto the max mount if you have a Rike or a Rally. This is the, uh, the latch, simple little piece right here. So, my idea was, I have these uh, ball mounts, which go to these extension arms. So, my idea was to take this, attach it to there, and then we could clamp that on there. So, I can mount my GoPro gear and all that other crap to the uh, back of the bike. Uh, so, the holes, well, these are quarter-inch bolts. Uh... Well, as you can see, I'll use this one. As you can see, the quarter inch doesn't go through. This is probably metric. Uh, you could drill it out. You could use a metric bolt. The problem is, this particular part is designed to go on uh, motorcycle parts. Like uh, what holds on your fairings and stuff. And as you can see, this hole is huge. I simply put started the bolt in there. I got my socket right here. Or not my socket, I'm sorry, my uh, hex key. Put it in there. And I just started cranking on it. And long story short, I cut, I cut the threads in. Uh, I don't have a tap and die. You know, if I did, that would be great. Uh, but since I don't, I didn't use it. So... I simply force the bolt through. I have a set of threads here. I'm still gonna use a uh, washer and a nut on the other end, and a washer and a lock nut on this side. We'll see how that goes. The other thing is this. You could also get these little ball mounts. Now, I believe this is a 420 thread, and if it, it won't fit in. Okay, all right, let's go back to the unthreaded one. This will not fit in unthreaded as you can tell it just it, it won't catch a little harder to thread this in force it in but if you have a, a tap you can tap out that hole put the ball in there the problem is when you mount this the ball will be too low for the clamp so if you take the clamp here and you put that on top you, you, I don't think you're gonna get the range of motion so I got these offset ones and that'll mount like that They'll get the ball higher, just more options for maneuverability. That's that. Let's uh, let's do some assembly and see how it turns out because I honestly don't know. So I'm going to use the flat washer and the uh, the bolt will go through. Now, uh, if you guys have the idea of mounting other stuff to the back of your uh, trikes, uh, and you're left with one of those puzzles of like, how do I get this attached? Don't forget these things. You could buy these as is. It's just, it is what it is. It's, it's just the, the mount. And uh, if you get the tunnel bag, you'll find it's just another lip on the back so it, it, it goes into a hole with the little lip and then this locks it in place but uh, you could fabricate some sort of metal part use these so you can make your own devices I guess you could say as need be so okay we'll just put that on there you know what so I'm just gonna get this tight All right, that that's not going anywhere. I don't trust the, uh, you know, my own cut threads. I'm just going to throw the uh, lock nut in the uh, thing on the other end. 
I might have to go for the bigger bolt because this uh, this bolt is not long enough. I don't believe to catch the uh, the nylocks, the uh, the nylon. Yeah, it's it's not going to catch that. As you can tell, it's it's not going in deep enough to catch that. So I do have a uh, longer bolt. So that should work better. Let me take this apart again. I'll get the other one done and uh, I'll show you the finished product and then we'll go uh, see if it's light enough outside to see it on the bike. You know, this is uh, it's not a difficult thing. Uh, it's, it does give you the option later on to uh, fiddle with it. So if it doesn't work as expected, I could always really just two little tools to uh, mess with this. Just all the other side. As I might have mentioned before, the uh, using these stainless steel bolts into this aluminum. Well, as we know, aluminum is softer than stainless uh, steel. So one of them's going to give. It was the aluminum. And I was able to cut those, cut the uh, the threads into the aluminum on, on this. So that's your mount right there. <clears throat> I think it's really just a question of pressure. The more you can exert. <clears throat> the uh, the more snug it will be. Maybe I'll have to go get my actual bigger wrench and really go to town on that. All right, drop a lock wash in the back. I think worst case scenario in actual use is that this thing being mounted there, and this being mounted there. is that uh, your thing will fall off to the side or something to that effect. And so it's not gonna come off. So that's, that's the good part. It's not gonna come off. So you're not gonna lose your stuff. But I think if you just have this mounted here and if you mount your GoPro or your Insta360 or whatever you have back there low you know, facing the back or out to the sides or on an angle, you should be fine. You should be fine. Uh, it might flop over, you know, but uh, what I intend to do is uh, mount, mount this, you know, mount this thing, then uh, put, put on the selfie stick and get the camera up in the air. Um, we shall I think this aluminum is uh, strong enough all these parts on now I do have the uh, I do have the backrest on mine so this is the uh, this was my inspiration so I saw that there were two two things in here Maybe you can see that there's two bolts two screws that go into this plastic now unfortunately I don't think this piece is sold separately because if it was I would definitely mount that in there somehow. I think that'd be awesome. So instead of bolting from this side, I would switch it around and have it go the other way. You know, drill two holes here, cut out some plastic. But it is what it is. My first intention was to drill out the hole. But I got a little lazy and decided to just uh, cut my own threads. If you want to be professional, break out your uh, tap. All right, that's on, that's on, those are on. on here. So that's a one inch uh, bolt with the uh, hex Allen key, whatever you want to call it. They're a quarter inch, quarter 20 is the, uh, the thread on here, quarter 20. The quarter twenty, uh, the quarter inch uh, lock washers, and the flat washers are number twelve. 
All right, folks, this is done. Uh, I guess the next thing to do is go check it out on the uh, bike, but it is pitch black outside right now, so that'll probably have to wait till the morning. All right, uh, today's day two. So took this out today, went out for a ride. It did work as a proof of concept, but uh, I discovered that these, I guess this is grippy stuff, rubber, plastic, whatever it is, was on top of here. Problem is, this is very smooth, this is very rubbery, and it was just sliding all over the place. So these didn't move, this didn't move. If the problem was the clamp, so you're supposed to go on like that. These balls are too small. You definitely need these still on there. The problem is this is on the trike on the back. The selfie stick is up in the air, so there's a lot of leverage. And then it just starts going like this. Every time you hit a bump, it just starts going down. What it is, is this piece of rubber is sliding on the ball. So, when in doubt, epoxy it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have my uh, good old Gorilla two-part epoxy here. Gonna mix up a batch of that, put it in here, swish it around, then reinstall it and try to get this thing back on. Well, first we'll clean it. So that's why I got the uh, rubbing alcohol. Good old, good old standby rubbing alcohol. We'll clean this off. We'll clean off the inside of this. We'll mix this up, put it in here. Okay, so we're just cleaning these off now. Clean the inside of these. And we'll give it a couple of minutes to dry. And then we'll install. Right. I'm not concerned with uh, if any comes out. I definitely want full coverage, especially on the sides. The, cramp, the clamping pressure is on the side. It's not on the top. It's not on the bottom. It's all on the side. So, okay. Yeah, looks like we have it well coated in there. Okay. Apparently I made that a lot more complicated than it needed to be. Okay, that was gross. Okay, my friends, that is on. So I'll mix up a little bit more, and we'll do the second one, same as before. Seems to be fairly well coated now. Let's see a conditioner. Thank God. All right. Got a little excess right there. Not an issue. Not an issue. So. Okay. The only thing we have to do now is let this dry, and then we'll uh, retest it. As a proof of concept, like. I said before, it does work. These did not move, this didn't move. It was solidly locked to the bike. That was for sure, it was solidly locked. But uh, the tension of the arm on it and the fact that this rubber is sliding on the ball is what, uh, what did it in. You also look at the inside of these. To me, that's way too smooth. 
think I'm gonna have to go dig up some like 80 grit sandpaper and this surface needs to be roughed up it's too it's too smooth and when you need something to grip onto something else smooth is probably not the best thing this smooth surface this relatively smooth even though it's rubber rubber surface they're gonna slide on each other that means you have to crank it down even harder and trust me when I went out today I had these things cranked down and every time you hit a pothole or a bump it would just start dipping it was just start dipping you know smooth on smooth is not too bad if you just if you're mounting uh, your camera right to the handlebars and it's only going up straight like this or you're mounting a phone or a GPS and the winds not hitting it you start putting camera equipment on here you start tilting it at weird angles you uh, you put you put extension arms on to get the camera away from you now you're adding weight and leverage that that's gonna torque on here it's not gonna stick so hopefully this works if it does it does if it doesn't we'll have to I'll have to come up with something else okay let's uh, we're gonna test this out again see if it works